We could win this. It's almost over. Come on, come on. I like my new computer. It works. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we hear you now. Can you okay. see me? Um, no yes, way. I can see no. you. I can see I'm you. I'm here one second. I gotta fix my headset. You're awesome. Uh, what happened? Uh, I think my mute button yes. is broken. Uh, I clicked. I clicked my mute button and it broke in the off position. Okay, I'm here. Sorry. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. Can you guys hear me? I cannot hear anybody. What microphone. the hell? Hey guys. I can hear you. Oh. I see you laughing at me, spam, and I don't appreciate it. I think the video is hurting this. Yeah, I think the video streaming is <laughs> really hurting. All right, I'll put, I'll put I can't it. hear anybody. Better. I hear you. Now fine. I can hear you guys. Okay, I'll fix. We're good. Okay, I'm. Are okay. we all good? Are yeah, we all good? good? Can everybody hear me? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Do oh, we're changing. She's going to video again. She's back to video. Don't go to video. Oh, my bad. Sorry, sorry. Although that headset is awesome, it's such a nerd. And I was commenting on it, but nobody could hear me. I was like, "Yay, take us for a tour. We want to see the shrunken heads." But nobody answered me. So, no. oh, oh, let's see the shrunken head. Welcome back. You are listening to Pwncast, the lost episode. I am your host, Eli, speaking to you from Denver, Colorado. It is July 12th in patch 5.4.8. And today we're going to talk about the new Dry Nine model. Wowhead beta key giveaway is still going on. It's week two. We got our Pwncast contest that's coming up. And that's it. There's no more news. There's just a few little things, but that's it. I brought the honey badgers with me. The troll that ate a dingleberry and turned into a druid, Fryza! <laughs> That's... I'm not going to respond to that. <laughs> I it's like he delicious. knows you. <laughs> I ate a piece of poop and I turned into a druid. Hey, a dingleberry is not the same thing. <laughs> oh, it's got a little hair in it. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. That's the I, best thing I've heard in a week. I don't know how to take <laughs> it is that, true. quite honest. <laughs> it is true, uh, listeners. I, I did make uh, Alliance Druid as of uh, today. So uh, definitely kind of freaking out. I may lose some sleep over this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a big impact in my life. I, uh, my high blood pressure went up. Um, <laughs> it's a disaster right now. I'm not even, I don't really know how to, yeah, it's a, it's a wreck today. I should have stayed in bed. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. And the Torin that drops dingleberries in the raid and they heal you, Math Medic. <laughs> so many dingleberries. Is that the theme, dingleberries? I'm not going to lie, I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> I saw you there. I can imagine this Torin just bending over, shitting out these little green orbs. <laughs> Pick them up and run through the shit. But they got hair on them. The shit, you live. <laughs> He's like, eat it. It's okay. But it's got hair on it. Eat I'm it. It'll heal you. Dude, I'm a maid. I'll freaking make a necklace out of that crap if it heals me. <laughs> stars berries taste like stars berries. <laughs> Oh, I'm not letting you pick shit again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like the pun though. Shit, pick shit. <laughs> oh goodness. goodness. That's awesome. Oh, well, so... welcome back, guys. And the warlock that turned into a demon during a fight with her hubby. That's not fair, Belle. <laughs> That's actually pretty legit. 
<laughs> I hear their fights all the time. It gets pretty messy. <laughs> Brian's always asked if somebody's dying in the background. <laughs> Dude, this is a bad fight back there. Hi, guys. That, I, I'm pretty sure I have to excuse myself mid-show to go to the bathroom because I'm pretty sure I peed myself um, <laughs> with the other intros. That is awesome. How are you guys doing? Good, good. <laughs> Very good. We are happy to have you back. And... We cannot forget about the torrent that once dropped 14 dingleberries in a single battleground, the BB Spam Burger! I, I, I love cloning dingleberries. <laughs> it's, the, it's the reason, reason torrents have tails. Yeah, but his don't heal you. His don't heal you. No, no I, I don't heal anybody but me. That's, I, I, I'll come in second to heals in the battleground, but it's all me. <laughs> <laughs> I got greedy heels because I'm a DJ. Oh my gosh! But they're a little frozen, right? Because you're you're uh, you're cold. And the right, he's got like three kinds of powers. Right, he's, you can't have bloody dingleberries, and you can't have <laughs> unholy dingleberries. <laughs> dingle so you can't have frozen dingleberries. <laughs> frozen dingleberries. <laughs> if I had to pick one, this show just took a turn for the worst. And yeah, then, let's not talk about yeah. Um no, so about it's not bad. It's not Oh not my bad. gosh. <laughs> All right guys, well, welcome back. It has been a crazy week and I'm excited to talk about it with you guys. Uh let's talk about our wow week cuz I know there is a lot to say. So I'm excited to hear it all. Fries, let's start with you. Well, uh, I'm not sure. Traitor. I, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, well, I've made some changes. So in um, my mage, he I'm not sure I mentioned it before, but he did switch rounds to Tychondrius to do more hardcore PvP, and it has been a major impact on my gaming. Uh, definitely a lot different. And then uh, uh, Bell and, and um, what the heck is your gamer tag? Mass. Mass. Well, not Mass. I don't. He doesn't play under Mass. He plays under um, the Lad or something. I don't freaking know his name. Just, just, just go by Mass, bro. Okay. Anyways. Uh, mass heals. Mass DPS. Mass heals. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, he's mad DPS now. Well, I've been, oh, oh always... just to let you know, I just won my fifth arena. Oh, yeah, nobody cares. Yeah, they do their arenas all the time now. Since I do them, they started getting do another like pros at it now. Well, they don't have a healer, and so uh, I wanted to get in on the fun. And so I made an Alliance 90, I boosted him, and I'm their new healer. Uh, although I'm not geared, uh, by the end of the week I should be uh, a lot of Grievous armor. So You didn't save any of that uh, armor from the Timeless Isle? I don't go to Timeless. So. And that is your problem. I, it is. I, don't, I, don't, I, would, I would never do Timeless. Heck. He won't do Timeless, he won't Dungeon, he won't Raid, he will wait, not hold, do anything. Hold up, hold up. You're telling me you didn't save any Timeless gear? I went there the once for like... Up? 30 minutes. He doesn't do timeless at all. He rebukes it. He hates it. Yeah, I, I, won't, I don't farm anything. I get anxiety attacks. I farm. And next wow. episode, raises or fries his new medication. <laughs> I can't imagine ever going to farm for armor again. It's like, no, I'm not going to have it. I'm wow. done with that. So... Well, right on. So what do you think about the crazy amount of buttons Druids have? Ah, man, I was unaware that every time you switch a form, you have to have a full set of buttons for that form. And if you would have listened to episode two, I think it was, Spamberger tells you all about yes, that. Yes, he does. And I have to go back and listen. about shape-shifting and more buttons and still more buttons. Well, and, then, it, and then when you get your dual spec, you got to do it all over again. More it's buttons. It's pretty pretty hardcore this is no joke i mean there's a lot to choose from there's a lot of specs and then talents and then then Wait, when so you, you shape shift and it's just a disaster right now are, are you a, are you a chicken no i'm not i'm not a chicken you're a tree that's classes i i don't know what i am i, I just got to this guy i don't i haven't transformed so you're still a bear I don't know what I am. I'm just on my regular form. I don't. I haven't transformed into anything. That's that's another thing. Druids never know what they are. That's for sure. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I. I mean, I got the a glyph. ultimate identity crisis. I know Val. <laughs> Val went and got me glyphs and helped me with my talents. But am I going to be a tree or something? What, what was the What was the after effect of that? I don't know. 
Good just, lord. Bro, if you want to be an expert, just don't go full heals. What you can do is just go boom, and then you're going to side heals with it, because boomikins can heal while they're in, a, a, I don't know, giant chicken form, I guess you could call it. Perfect. And we will have uh, Hotted on the show. To Six tell wins. Us all about boomkins. Oh, yes. I would love yes. to sit down with me. I'll okay. get a lecture from him. Just lecture Hot me. is going to be the one that leads you to glory, my friend. It is true. I will allow him to. Yeah. That is no problem. Hothead, we all waiting he, for he you. You make me cry. He's like, are you retarded? Did you get it? <laughs> no, he's such a nice one. guy. He's going to make you fall in love with him. You're going to have a bromance. Because oh. you're a chick. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, well, nice to you. <laughs> I don't know if he's nice well, that's probably yeah. true. <laughs> Actually, he doesn't horrid. even talk to me. I don't even exist to that guy. <laughs> if he finds out I'm horrid, he's going to be like, oh, so you're trash. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, he plays Horde? Doesn't he? He does. Like, he does. Not oh. very often, but he does. Okay. He plays it when, right, he, when he wants to lower his expectations for himself for the day. <laughs> let's get to Mass. What did you do this week? Um, I'm currently just, like, raping in arenas. Since we've been started this podcast, I've won six arenas in a row. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't want to say I'm a badass now, but I'm, I'm kind of, like, at the B-A... BA part. I don't have the rest of it, but you know I'm at the BA part. So, oh, so it only takes yet. six. Still hasn't killed me yet, but we're gonna we're gonna find that out tonight. Something like that. Yeah, you better. All right, we're gonna fight. You better. Gonna I'm fight. I'm ready. I want to just like shove my dingleberries all over your face. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! You what the it. hell? You it. What oh. Get protection, Sister. <laughs> I'm gonna come with that. Where's the dingleberry scissors? Oh my goodness, that is bad. That's that's gross. Oh, I ran uh, I ran BGs, uh, four BGs in a row on Alliance. I thought, okay, well, I'm not gonna have to run dungeons to get my honor points and all that stuff. So I said, I'm just gonna run BGs and win every single time. I have yet to win one BG in hours. So how's that possible? Every time I play I them, they die. I can't even. Or are we die? I never they win die. in BGs as, as a horde. What? But I guess as Alliance, you don't win either. So I, it's situational. That's bogus. I don't believe it. If, no. if you play as Fryza, you lose every time. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. It okay. Sucks. Oh, goodness. All right, so that's it for uh, yeah. for Mass? Yeah, I guess. I guess. Well, I guess <laughs> I'll, I'll record the battle tonight, and I'll I'll show the world that I can kill you. Ooh, okay. I'm looking forward to watching that. Disappointed. Well, that's awesome. In the corner of the pocket. Get your popcorn. It's going to be the World Cup versus a hunter and a mage. The troll with small tusks. Let's do it. Oh, my gosh. All right, Val. Tell us about your week. I have been doing arenas with uh, Mass, and I just recently found out about two seconds ago that he moonlights with another warlock that's not me. So we're supposed to be a team, buddies. We're supposed to get our prideful together, hey, all this good stuff. And he don't. totally blows me off all day long for this other warlock. No, I don't. Okay, when you're not there, I need somebody to stand there and get hit so I can hit the other person, okay? Whoa. <laughs> so basically, he, just, he, uses me, he uses me for my crowd control and then throws me away when he can't use me anymore. But it's all good oh. because I'm going to I'm gonna have – Fries is going to be my personal healer. Yeah. So – let me know how that works out. Actually, but I, that's I, what I've been doing. So if I kill You've you been, both, what does that mean? Oh, you're not. That's not going to happen. <laughs> but listen, my whole week has consisted of arenas, arenas, more arenas, some legendary crap. I'm 12 secrets. I still need eight more. I'm over the whole secret thing. It's frustrating. I don't know why anybody bothers with this legendary cloak. That's basically what I've been doing is arenas. I'm all grieved. Now I'm working on all prideful. I think I'm like five pieces shy of prideful. Wow. Which is a lot. I mean, that's a wow. lot, but it's, I was trying to make it sound cool. But that's pretty much it. That's right. pretty good. Wow. Okay. Uh, and uh, the beefy spam burger. What did you do? Uh, man, I, I, I knew getting back in my old tunes was going to be bad. Uh, Fryzer pointed out that, that uh, I've lost my touch with, with my death knight yeah. because I've been, play, been playing on my shaman so much. Um, but I gotta tell you, man. I, either either I've been the luckiest shaman ever to roll through Throne of Thunder, or or they've changed the uh, drop rates like drastically since last time I ran through there, man. Because I killed like ten bosses and I got like eight pieces of gear, and uh, which I'm not complaining. But I mean, I just I, it just seems really like something is different. Something has changed. 
Hmm. Yeah, same <laughs> thing. Hmm. Hmm. Where were we? Yes. Um, we were on my week in WoW. And then it, I was like, fine, I guess nobody wants to hear what I have to say. <laughs> I was like, later. <laughs> I'm going away. Um, all right. So basically, this week, I joined the Alliance and made a worgen. Woo! Yes. Oh, we're going to worry. Yes. And, oh, my gosh. So worgen started in Cataclysm, oh, yeah. right? Was that true? Yes. So, so I, I totally missed out on that whole experience. I didn't create a goblin. I didn't create a worgen. None of that. I just totally didn't even care. And, and I made a worgen, and I fell like in love with the tune. I mean, just the storyline is so cool. And then that was like, and then they bit me, and I was like, no, I'm gonna turn into one. And then we help the king, and we go to Gilneas. And I'm like, yeah, let's kill everybody. Oh, it was awesome. And then we fought Sylvanas. I was like, what is Lady Sylvanas doing here? I don't remember this. But apparently she oh, went so over weird. there. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. It freaked me out. I was like, what is Sylvanas doing there? We spied on her and watched her talk to, uh, I guess she used her undead ability and made a bunch of undead people or something. She's not supposed to do that. But I didn't even know she still had the ability to do that. So I was mind blown, in other words, mind blown. And I joined a really cool guild called Riders of Rohan. Mm, they're like a bunch of losers. They ain't that cool. <laughs> it was awesome. You know what was cool? Is I'm in, I was in, I was, well, I still am. I'm still in CTR, right? So I get on my tune, and I rarely see anybody talk. And they're like, well, you have to have the, the add-on that has, like, like, I don't know, the rest of their thousands of people on it. Well, I don't. So all I have is the thousand people that are in mine. And still, no one's talking. There's no community there. Where Where is it? I, I, I don't know. I just, I was lost. So then I was like, well, I'll just make a tune. I'll go to Arjun Dawn. I'll, I'll uh, join Riders of Rohan. Instantly, people were like, welcome. Hello. <laughs> Who's this new person? Welcome, Sploo. And I was like, okay, this is cool. People Not actually care that care, care that I'm on, I'm on here. So, yeah. Uh, that was fun. So you I'm wanna excited. Know why, I, you want to know why that is? Why is that? Because I have created a guild for the people. I've spent a year creating a guild mm-hmm. that is for the people. That is why I have some of the best guildies in game. Literally, that's it. I'm gonna guild. call you. I'm gonna call you the Fubu Guild. For I, a fire. <laughs> I joined. I joined the Riders of uh, uh, the Storm. What, what's their name? The Riders of what? R- wow. Rohan. I, yes, I, the I, I joined theirs, and everyone's like, "Welcome, welcome!" And I, I typed in, and I was all, "Welcome." <laughs> 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 Welcome yourself. <laughs> but it's true, they're very active, very into new people, and they're asking questions like, who are these people? How do we know them? What are they? Then, you know, it was pretty awesome how they're so. It was. I'm excited. So, I guess, because apparently Mike went over there first, and so did uh, Spam, so no one told me. So, I'm in CTR all by myself. We're supposed to be in CTR. But then nobody told me you guys were leaving. What happened? Thanks, guys. What happened with that? Thanks, guys. No, hey, thanks, guys. Well, I joined. I just want to say you. I was the one that tried to tell you about it. So don't even go there. Thank you <laughs> for telling me <laughs> that we were going to Argent Don. Welcome. Look how great it worked out now. <laughs> yes. Well, well, I was first start on Argent Don. Um, my first server. Yeah, but you have like fifty alts. <laughs> He's like the old king. Call on Argentine. You are. I think you have more than uh, Mass. Don't you have more than Mass? No, he doesn't. Because Mass has like fifty or something. <laughs> I have five different accounts. Oh my god! Hey, have you seen? Oh, I'm gonna go. You off have topic. a problem. I'm gonna go off topic. I'm I go collect. Topic. I'm sorry. Have you done like the the hot botted or whatever they call it? Uh, it's called multi bot. Multi bot. Have you seen that? Your Swifty yes. has two characters. And he plays on both of them while, while in the same arena. Yeah, it's, called it's pretty cool, but there's also 40-man bot, so people actually have 40 accounts. And uh, I was watching uh, this guy, and he had 40 shamans, and he was controlling all 40 of them. Wait, like his own raid? Yeah, his own raid. 
No. And his soul and his soul uh, purpose was to kill Swifty in uh, Seven Stars. What? Yeah, so he would. They would all forty die, and then he would spawn right on top of Swifty and kill him. Okay, so this dude spent six hundred bucks. Probably, yeah. Because that's what the math comes out to. I think so. More than that. That's a lot of money. Well, six hundred. Yeah, it's probably six hundred. Yeah. And then he had to level all of those guys. Uh, yeah, I believe he did. Yeah. There's that. There's always that one guy. No, don't, don't worry. That's true. But yeah, I watched that on over the weekend, watching uh, Swift get trolled, and it takes 40 people to do it. That was cool. I watched that too. Um, all right, guys. Let's talk a little bit about whatever little bit of news there is, because there's not a lot. Uh, we got a new Draenei or Draenei model. Uh, what do you guys think of that weird blue guy? He's blue and gay. At least he doesn't have giant nipples. <laughs> I used to I used to play a, a Drain Eye Pally back back in Burning Crusade, and my my problem with his form is that I mean he looks like Mister Incredible. He's like all chest and like and like shoulders, man. So I was kind of hoping that they would address the uh, top heavy issue, and they really didn't. They just kind of gave him like like creasier lines on on his muscles and stuff. You know? Straight yeah. eye males are hot. I'm just saying. Oh my goodness! It's cause and the then there's the kinky one. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's a warlock, and they have tails. I'm when I came like, here, I lost many jewels which have been in my family. So they have a big old. They have that big old back. They run like. But you know like what? Cars. The female Draenei is just as hot. They are pretty. Hot. I agree. The female Draenei is hot. That rope, baby. <laughs> 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 what just happened here? You gotta uh, grab the rope. <laughs> where's your wife when this is happening? Pull my rope. Pull she's my rope. Bad. She's bad during the show hours. She's in the <laughs> what happened on the show? She's spam on ice. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Um, yeah. You love. You know what though? When okay, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I've always wanted a drain eye. Because uh, or a drain eye. A because female. uh female because <laughs> the males are uglier than sin see there's your answer right there there's but then you, you notice all the different hairstyles if you go to wowhead you can see all the different hairstyles or whatever tentacle styles <laughs> but they some some have hair like facial hair anyway it's a weird it's a weird uh thing but uh they have like this big old bump on their head, like this high bump that goes like really high and then comes back, like you know, like a weave. Gift, that's the gift of the Nara, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the bump. I don't know what's happening here. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Did we lose him? He was talking again and we lost him. Did we lose no, him? No, 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 I'm here, I'm here. I got it on mute because my wife is yelling. Oh, okay. there's something, something's happening back there. So the listen, eye, listen. Eye, listen. Eye, <laughs> Try to listen to what kids in trouble. <laughs> you could put your hands on my family jewels. I would there. greatly appreciate. All right, so I got to tell you guys this. Um, since this is our lost episode, and that's kind of like what we're. Doing I right introduced it as a lost episode. Uh, we need to tell our listeners what I mean by that. Apparently, we never made an episode three. <sighs> I don't know how this happened, so obviously I can't count. So I made episode 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Never made a 3. So, uh, this is our episode 3. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's a little late, but we're making it. And since we are, uh, it's kind of like a like lost episode or whatever, whatever, we're going to just relax on this episode and take it easy and... That's what I have planned. I got some really cool stuff that we can talk about. Uh, so I want to share a story with you guys. Uh, my son plays this game called Lego um, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. And uh, basically, it just, it just loops that same song. The, you know, the classic song when the sword fight and they're, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Yep. 
I know it. Okay. The ten, 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 on his tune, he has a tune that he's been working on forever, and it's, his name is Mario Toad, and he's an Alliance warrior. Uh, he's like 59, I think oh, now. I all him, that. all him. No, I haven't touched. I only touch it when I go on there and I erase everything out of his bags. I do a few quests and get him some gear again from the quest gear because his gear is all ridiculous. And, and then he's able to kill people again because he just puts whatever on and collects every single thing that drops. <laughs> and so... Uh, I got him in a guild. I had that guild give him some bags. Anyway, he, on his own, I didn't do it. He went onto YouTube and he found that exact same song. And he found like a 10-hour version of it. And he just played it and turned up the music and turned off the music on WoW and started playing WoW. Wow. <laughs> With no help. That's how you it. know you're raising your children right. Yeah. <laughs> and as <laughs> proof... As proof, I posted it on the Pwncast page. Oh. So you guys can watch that. $15 a month is a small price to keep your child's virginity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, well, okay, wow, he's eight. He thinks girls are gross. That's great. Let him, let him be that way forever. I didn't think they were gross at eight. Let him love wow. So many problems so, will be avoided. It's true. He's having a blast, and I thought I'd share that with you guys. So, for our listeners, if you'd like to see that, you can go to Pwncast on Facebook and check it out. It's only like nine seconds long. You can't really post long videos on Facebook. So, um, yeah, that's for you guys. That's a small story. Um, what? So that's basically what you guys think of the Jedi model. Uh, did you guys get any beta keys? No, I tried really hard. No, oh, we all tried. Wowhead doesn't want to give us beta keys. They're in week two, I think. They are. And um, I think it's like 200 keys now they gave away. They gave 300 this week in week two. So I got something to ask you guys. Did you guys see the fake, and I got my fingers in the air in quotations, the fake release date of uh, Warlords of Draenor? Yeah. Yes, and I, I inadvertently... I inadvertently said it in our Pwncast admin chat because I was so excited and literally Mike responded, what? And then I'm like, wait, it's a lie. <laughs> what happened? I didn't see any of that. Basically, they, okay, go ahead, Bill. They posted a picture of the Warlords of Draenor graphic and they put that the release date was going to be September 23rd. And this went viral within literally an hour and it was being posted in every Facebook group everybody was getting so riled up and then when they realized that it was just a big joke they were getting mad at the people that posted it in the groups it was so like literally viral within an hour of this thing being posted and it was just all a big hoax to troll people right wow. so so i owe this information to the folks at azeroth perspective which is another world of warcraft podcast they did the research and uh, listen to the latest episode, and basically what it was is, do you guys know the strategy guides that are that come out? I think it's uh, Brady. Yeah, Brady, Brady strategy. Sure. Right. Okay. They're the guys. So, They're the men. So, so. Yes. So they uh, they come out with a strategy guide. It's very basic information. You don't really learn anything in these guides, but you see a lot of art and there's a lot of really cool stuff in it. So people just like to collect them. Well, World of Warcraft has their own version of this strategy guide. And every year that it comes out, uh, it, it comes out the day before or the day of the expansion. Okay? Yeah. yeah. So, and it worked for Wrath of the Lich King, uh, Cataclysm, Espandaria, all these expansions, they came out the day of or the day before. Now, it, they announced that their strategy guide is coming out September 20, I think it's 26th. Mm-hmm. That's when they announced that their strategy guide is going on sale. So if you follow the pattern, Sounds it like should be coming it's out it's that day or the day yeah. after. So that's what, and that's like leaked in, in a way, because it came off of, I guess, of a German website that had announced that they were going to release that for sale on September 26th. And so everybody was like, then that's when the expansion's coming out. But then you have to think to yourself, Wait a second. 
if the expansion comes out before BlizzCon, then what the heck is BlizzCon going to be about? They're going to have it as they're going to be doing content during BlizzCon. That's absolutely genius, actually. Oh. That means they're going to do all WOD content for the BlizzCon. It's going to be all WOD. That would be right. awesome. I right. think I think you, I think they're onto something. Right. I mean, everybody is always watchful of what Blizzard does. Like people even watch uh, when you reserve like a, a brand, not a brand, uh, when you trademark like a name. Uh, this is before WAD was announced. I remember a lot of people were all excited because Warlords of Draenor got trademarked. Okay. And they were like, well, okay, who owns this trademark? And Blizzard owns it. So like, okay, so obviously Blizzard is planning on naming something Warlords of Draenor. And so we already knew what the new expansion name was going to be before we even knew what the expansion was going to be. Geek, you know, get that geeked about this game that they troll the internet for like yes. trademarks to get bought, you know? Yes. So it's, so, I mean, really? That's, that's, yeah. that's crazy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so basically, yeah, that's kind of what uh, the big buzz is all about. It wasn't really technically fake, but it kind of is a pattern. So anyway, I just thought I'd let you guys know. That's just so somewhere around the end of thing. September. Yeah, pretty much. Because if you think about it from, from a BlizzCon standpoint, which is where... They like to make their money because everybody wants to sign up for the digital tickets and everybody has already paid for all their BlizzCon. If you think about it, if you're right, what are they even going to talk about at BlizzCon now? Because it's I, I have a theory about what they might talk about for BlizzCon. I noticed that one of those people who's always watching what Blizzard does, apparently they did something with Xbox. Now, we all know that the oh, Diablo... Diablo is uh, is a console game now. Have you they wanted to Diablo get on the Xbox on the console. They, you can play no, it on I all have, the consoles. I it's haven't, so but but they are interested into going into consoles. Now, there's a problem with World of Warcraft being on a console is you only have your typical couple of buttons. How are you going to scroll through all of your spells and press all these spells <clears> and move at the same time? So they need to. Uh, take these buttons away. And what are they doing for Warlords of Draenor? Killing They're buttons. taking a boatload of buttons away from everybody. Sure and someone saw a uh, World of Warcraft um, app or something that got leaked onto the Xbox One. Oh. And so they're like, wait a second. If Blizzard is looking to get into console games and the console game says, well, you need to take down your buttons. And they do. And then there was leaked information about uh, them hooking up with Xbox, possibly other consoles. Is it possible that we can play World of Warcraft on our console? Oh, yeah. Not possible. Yes, it is. Well, no, it's not. Like you can't even, play, can't even <laughs> play Call of Duty with 10 vs. 10 without something freaking out. And Halo yeah. 10 vs. 10 is something you always This isn't a first person shooter game. All right? One person it's, lags. I was just making a good point. Xbox Live kind of kind of dies when you get more than like. Well, this is a this is a this is way more bigger than a first person shooter game. First way person shooter. Yeah, I mean, guys, uh, think if you have, if you have, that's we have why yeah. that's why Dragon Age didn't take over. Dragon Age was supposedly talking about making raids and stuff like that. They oh. would have completely killed World of Warcraft if they did that and released it on the Xbox. But they never did. They couldn't. They couldn't figure out how to do it. If they can figure out how to uh, multitask, get a huge amount of people online. And host it from the servers, and not host it from one system, because that's what Call of Duty is. They right. host it on one system, and that's why you lag. One person lags, the whole map drops. Right. So right. you need if they can figure that shit out, they got it. The buttons aren't a hard thing. If you ever play Dragon Age, you can have thirty different buttons. You just have to know how to switch back and forth through them all. Well, you Am got... I the only one that thinks this would be a terrible idea? I, I, I think it's a one? horrible idea. Terrible. Oh, I, don't, I never work. said it was good. I, I think it's going to be up. They tried it back in with the, the Nintendo 64. Remember they tried to put StarCraft on there? You remember well, that? Well, here's the thing, guys. We all know that Blizzard will not release a game unless they absolutely love this game. They will not be rushed. Do you remember a little game called Ghost? Never came out. 
doesn't exist. It's, I remember reading the Xbox magazine being so excited to play this first person shooter or third person shooter that was that was in the in the uh universe of StarCraft. Yep. Yeah, I was in, just it. going insane and they completely scrapped it and threw it away. Why? Because they said they didn't like it. We know that Blizzard is capable of dedicating an entire team to make a, make a full game. It was already out of beta and ready to be released, and they said no. So if they're a company that is only going to release products that are absolutely 100%, we know that we can be well, confident that they're not going to release this unless it works. Well, that's, 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 a good point. that's a good point because look at this. So you got Blizzard. I have 100% trust that they can make any game awesome but xbox cannot produce them a system neither can playstation that's going to handle a game like that you got elder scrolls that is a tiny game compared to world of warcraft yeah. that is a <laughs> miniature game compared to world of warcraft and that game pushes xbox to its limits and that is like one land i'm not all my facts about that but there's it's like one or two islands that we have in wow and i'm like the, that is on so the other side tiny. of the coin Fraser, i mean the programming language that's used for World of Warcraft is like very ancient at this point, and it's and it's really not a high definition game compared to like Xbox One is is able to deliver like HDMI graphics. Well, what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to support it on the server side. Like I said, they're not going to host it on the system. Everything's going to have to get streamed to the player. It's right. going to be a really difficult challenge. They can do it. I don't know how well if, they're going to be able to do it. If, Anyone can do it. It would be Blizzard. Yeah, but Blizzard's not doing it. You don't know? It's Xbox Council. They, they have to do it. Here is Dude, they something. can't even get 32 versus 32 right now without people freaking out. Have you right. seen that on the right. new on the, the comments on that, on the, the battlefield? They're trying to do 32 versus 32, and it's a complete disaster. Sometimes it works, and about 90% of the time it doesn't work. So it's like, you know, well, you, you won't, it won't lag you out, but the lag is so bad. And right. it's like, that's just 32 versus 32. That's not Altic Valley, people. You know what I mean? I mean, that's, I mean... And this is true, but I think... vast land with spells and calculations. Halo has a headshot. There's no calculation happening in there. You know well, what I mean? Well, there is. And, well, there is, you, got, but... you got 20 people casting all kinds of weird stuff. And, no, I have no way can an Xbox handle that. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Ever. Okay. What it, okay. Okay. Hold here's, on. Here's the thing. Let, let me tell you about this because I, okay. I did a lot of research. I had a debate about a guy. We're talking about graphics cards, right? There's a brand new graphics card that uh, AMD just released, um, and it compares with the Xbox and um, the PlayStation, and it comes at the same thing. That's a $500 graphics card, and they were Dude. competing level to level. Graphics is not a problem. I. It's really – I think what is going to happen is it's going to be the connections that we're going to have. You, you all know what happens like when um, Panda got released and everybody was getting on and everybody yeah. kept getting kicked every five minutes. Yep. That's what's going to happen. It's going to flood servers. It's not going to be proficient in that area. I, I think that's where they're going to fail. I, I'm not worried about graphics. I'm not worried about them being able to do the content. They can make the content come to us. You can go ahead and go download the game package that's only 30 gigs and put it on your PlayStation or Xbox and have all that content there. It's what they're going to stream to you is going to be the hardest thing to get. That's what your problem is going to be. I don't think WoW players are going to do it. That's my thing. I don't think they're going for us. I think they're going for the, they're going for the Xbox players who don't want to get a console, I mean a, a computer, to play games I like think, that. I think the challenge is making it so that the Xbox is one method of logging into World of Warcraft. You can't, you can't make the PC people have to change to Xbox. Um, but as long as they keep loyal to their, to their PC gamer base, I'm sure the PC gamers will be glad to let the people come on their Xbox and get pwned by their, by their you know, $100 mouse and their $200 keyboard. And exactly. Yeah, but that, that's completely different. Because I was, I, that's what I wanted to do, because my cousin has Diablo 3. And I wanted to know if uh, cross-platform was going to be compatible. I don't think they're going to be able to – they're not going to be able to achieve a very successful rate at cross-platform cross um, because you don't have PlayStation and Xbox that play together. 
it's just solely Xbox or just solely PlayStation or solely computer. The cross-platform, that's going to be something, if they're able to accomplish that, it's going to be way, way in the future. I just don't know how you're going to hit buttons, man. I can't get over that right now. I'm actually getting like frustrated thinking about it because it is <laughs> how can you even think it's going to work because you got so many freaking buttons. It is so insane how much you're trying to heal somebody, you're trying to kill somebody, and they're doing macros, and then and it's oh, just to think about it. I have such bad anxiety, I'm actually going to stop talking about it. Because I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting angry because it's like, okay, so you're in an RBG 10v10, you're, you're, you're against a uh, rated 2500 team. Are you telling me your Xbox controller is going to be better than your keyboard? No. No, it's never going to be better than your keyboard. Those because guys then you're going to have macros. It's going to be a completely different platform. Yeah. It's so, not going to be the same. You're not. That's what I'm saying. You're not going to be able to verse people that are going to be. So it's going to be like World of Warcraft, but they're ten percent. They're like fifty percent uh, dumber, more dumb, because they they're going to walk slower. They're not going to be able to jump around. They're not going to be able to blink and do stuff. They're going to be able to like everybody slow down what you're doing. We're taking away all half your buttons away. And well, hey, good luck you ha- moving. Well, you got to think about it. If they're really going to push forward. You there? What happened? Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, that was weird. Well, what I was saying is if they're really going to push forward with this, you don't be worried about that. Um, cuz they're going to they're just going to end up eliminating the main uh a lot of buttons for it. It's going to be a different World of Warcraft. I think Yeah, it's right. going to be a completely different game. I think you're right. And you but Again, I think it's going to destroy the WoW community. I agree. Cause they're going it's going to that's going to be World of Warcraft. It's like that is not World of Warcraft. And then if you got people on Xbox who want to start playing, they don't want to start. They don't want to have to level from level one all the way up to level one hundred, and they don't want to go fucking pay sixty dollars after they just had to just purchase all those packs. They don't want to do that. They don't want to drop two hundred dollars and you just starting the game. I, I don't think it's going to be successful at all. I don't see okay, it. I I have to chime in, guys. Um, I disagree. Wow. <laughs> um, I disagree a lot because it was announced or leaked that Heroes of the Storm is going to be on the Xbox. Now, Heroes of the Storm is a perfect way to test how all of this is going to work out. And if Heroes of the Storm tests how how much they can put on their graphics and how many people can be on their servers, and how they will communicate over a headset, because you got to remember, we are including a headset in this. People are going to be talking. I'm going to ring in. If that works out, and that is a go, and that is successful, they will find a way to put World of Warcraft on a console. I guarantee you. Okay. I want to I wanna, I wanna hop in here. Here's the storm on World of Warcraft art. Two completely different things. Well, no, I know. It's, it's a MOBA. It's a MOBA. I, I understand it. I understand it. It's a but MOBA. Heroes of the Storm is, is just like, um, it, it's going to be like Diablo. Um, so they already have Diablo out there. It's going to be, yes. there, God, there's a couple more games just like that's not coming to head, my head. Um, that's going to be so much easier. I know, guys, but seriously, we are talking about one of the biggest games in history. They're, they can't even master Battlefield. Doesn't matter, well, that's, dude. That's the this biggest game, game they have right now is Battlefield, and they're failing. This game is amazing, and it is huge, and it is the biggest game we've ever had. And you're gonna tell me they're gonna pass up the idea of going on a console and gaining how many more people? I don't think they can gain anymore. Especially if they go to all three consoles. Yeah. Right no. now, if on my Wii, on my Wii, I have a tablet. I play with a tablet on the Wii. I can touch things on the tablet and transfer from the screen to the tablet. You're going to tell me you can't load buttons on there and I can't play World of Warcraft? You put World of Warcraft on my Wii, I can play it. No problem. I will cast every spell. No problem. Oh, good mm-hmm. lord. That's, that's a you, completely you, different thing. That's different. That's touch isn't it? This is just not an argument we should be having on this show, first of all, because we're talking about layers of architecture that are going to have to be compromised to go onto a weaker system, and it's just – well, of you course they're going to dumb it down. words like layers of architecture and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let's just – I'm going to say this. Let's just end it real quick. Um, I'm never going to doubt that they can't do it. They can. 
They can. I'm never going to doubt that. I know where technology is going, and they can definitely do that. I What I am doubting is they're going to completely destroy the WoW community. Me and Fraser are not about that life. Here's, here's what they're going to do. Game consoles. It's going to destroy it. Here's what they're going to do, Matt. They're going to go, level your character 1 to 10, and then transfer it to your computer, or this game is really going to suck for you. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> it could, you know. What if they were separate? Well, they're going to be separate. They're not going to do Xbox and computers together. I, like, I can't they, imagine how they could. They couldn't do that. Them. They couldn't do it. I think Mass is right. The whole getting the well, whole thing. To, they can't. It's just. It's just going to be too complex. There's going to be servers crashing. It's going to be like. It's going to be such a boogie system. I. I don't. On, there's there's the no money. Signs that these guys are going to see. They're gonna try. Why don't they just come out with another game? Another That's like what another they're type doing. Of, no, like another. They're actually of, working just, on another game right now. Well, they were. It was called Titan. It was Project Titan, and they got scrapped. Once That's again, what they another are, they, game okay. that they scrapped. All they said was that they're taking a lot of people off of the staff of this Titan project that they've been working on, which I think is the console game. But they moved them to Warlords of Draenor. And once Warlords of Drainer is done, they're probably going to move them back to that project again. So. Yeah, because they're not going to start from level 1 all the way to 100 if they go onto a console. They're going to no. start from like 1 to 40. Kind of like Diablo. It's yeah. not, like they're we, not, like they're not going to shoot that much far up because that's just way too far for players to enjoy. Or it could just be a different game like, like, like I guess what you're saying here, but it also like, could be a different character, like a different World of Warcraft. It would be World of Warcraft, but in a totally different form and fashion. Like... Right. Like, like they, I mean, I, I, I know we said it. One through eighty-nine. Yeah, it's not, no, it's something store. small, like some one before, like 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 Matt said, and also with the buttons, you know, maybe maybe you only do have five buttons, and that's only five you got, and you team up with four people to go against another four people, kind of keep it like Halo and Call of Duty, you know, you're not they're not going to try to go mass, they're just going to try to make a World of Warcraft, but for council, and they're going to be able to, like. You know, just make it really small arenas. You know, you're never going to have Altic Valley. You're never going to have a 25-man raid, but you can have a 10-man raid, you know. And so they think if they do it that way, they'll be okay. But I don't think the second they start trying to bring, like, World of Warcraft on the computer, it's like, oh, please, come on. Give it 10 more years at tops, and then Xbox might catch up to that, but I doubt it. Sweet. All right, guys. Um <clears throat> We're going to talk about – we always do this thing, and I, if you, if our listeners know – that they listen to our show, we always do this thing, back in my day. So I thought since this is the last episode, maybe we should do a back in our day, and you have to start it out in the old person voice. <laughs> so you have to do it. That's a rule. So have you go first. Talk, tell us a little bit about when you first started. And walk us some, through. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. We also want to know some noob stories. Some, oh, good God, some stories. So stories that you don't, that you kept under the sheets for a very long time because you're so embarrassed about them. We want to know about them. Go ahead. Yes. Hold on. Let me get my dentures. <laughs> Back in my day. Oh, um. What did, what did I want to talk about for for Back in my day? Um. Um, Your shaman. Back, back in my day, right, my shaman. Back in my day, in vanilla, the shaman was only for the horde side, and the paladin was only for the alliance. And it wasn't until the Burning Crusade expansion. Do I have to do the whole thing in the old? <laughs> no, no, you don't. <laughs> I was enjoying it, man. I was really enjoying it. Because <laughs> I'll do it all day. Oh, yeah. man, that was awesome. Uh, it wasn't until Burning Crusade that that the the shaman came in for the alliance with the with the Draenei race, and the uh, and the paladin was allowed for the horde only if you played as a blood elf, I believe. Um, <coughs> So back, back in my day, I couldn't be a shaman. Uh, my first tune was a was a hunter, uh, was a dwarf, a little dwarfish hunter, um, and, I, and it was it was great, uh, leveling leveling my way up. Um, but when Burning Crusade came out, I got to be a shaman. I was very excited, um, and I leveled I leveled my shaman for like seven years uh, through BC and through Lich King and, and Cataclysm. Uh, until until these guys came along and said we need a tank to come and, and help us get up. through them dungeons. Am I breaking up again? Can you? 
Well, that's my story. <laughs> not on my end. He was fine. Oh, not on mine. <laughs> um, uh, okay, cool. Uh, Friza, you're up. Uh, back in my day. I can't do it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm not like, I'm not like that. You know, back in my day, I didn't get a mount to level 55. That's a fact. Yeah, yep. I didn't know you could get them out until until, yeah, I walked around for fifty five levels. Oh, that's gotta be awful. How's that make you guys feel about your play? Yeah. Hmm? Right, oh, right. Now you, you get them out at level twenty now. Like yeah, that? no, I didn't even think. I didn't know you can get it them. Out. Even, it wasn't even an option until forty. Yeah, I was cost five hundred gold, which was like, which was like five hundred gold was like was like I haven't seen one gold. What do you mean five hundred gold? <laughs> you know. Five hundred gold was was like was like gold exists in this game. Oh you know? my god! Well, yeah, I only had a couple hundred, yeah, in the whole game. And another thing I did back back in the time, uh, I uh, got full PvP gear, and that's all I knew how to do. So I was running BGs all day, and I got full PvP gear. And then I was I was a tank warrior, so I decided to do arenas and raids. I, I mean. Uh, Dungeons and Raids, and back then you couldn't queue up for them. You have to get a group together. Well, I used to get a, we we get groups together. They've been looking for a tank, so I type in tank. So they invite me in there, and we I play. And then in the middle of the first fight, they're like, "Okay, tanks, trash, kick them." Well, that happened to me forever, forever. I was always getting kicked, and I thought I have the best armor in the game. Like I have freaking high, it's it's high level, it's good armor. What is everyone complaining about? I didn't learn till till later on, a couple like a year into it. Someone finally walked up to me and they're like, dude, why are you wearing PvP gear if you're a tank? What, isn't that good? He goes, no, you're, you're, you have no tanking abilities at all. Like, you're, you have no armor for tanking. And I was like, what do you mean? And he goes, wow. And so he literally, like, guided me through how to get tanking armor. And he told me what I'm supposed to wear. I never knew. When I rolled my, my, my warrior, I had him for two years as a tank and never knew what a tank was. I just thought a tank was the guy I didn't like to die. But I didn't realize that you actually have to go out and get gear for your tank. I just thought any gear would work. So I didn't know that. And I never actually did a raid or a dungeon properly without getting kicked out halfway through it. So I never did get any gear for him anyway. So it took years to actually learn how to tank. And that's a pretty noob story of mine. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So... Wow. Yeah, I've had some new uh, experiences. You have grown. <laughs> I've had some new experiences in my day. That's that is for certain. Uh, yeah, so I mean that that's basically I'm I go back back in way back. You know, I remember burning, when the Burning Crusade first came out and everything. It was pretty interesting. Everyone was roaring about that for months before, and it was pretty awesome. So, but yeah, I think that's all the stories I got. I can't really think of anything else besides I got a couple more embarrassing stories. But I don't want to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> All right, Mel. You're up. Uh, do I really got it? Yes. Yes, I did it. Uh, you didn't do it, right? <laughs> you tried. You were doing it. <laughs> Back in my day. <laughs> what a loser. I hate you all. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Set up. Oh, For all of you listeners that are laughing at me right now, at least I have heart. Yeah, she does. <laughs> so back in my day, it I started uh, right, I think, at the end of Burning Crusade, right before Lich King, and it took me two years to level my Warlock. And the only reason it took me two years is because back then, back when Talent Trees, the Warlock was completely different. Mists of Pandaria completely changed the Warlock gameplay. But you were literally like hitting stuff with a stick and you had to level your stick and every time you changed weapons you had to level your expertise in that weapon and you literally spent the first 50 levels hitting crap with a stick I forgot about that that is how you leveled and it literally took me two years and I think I hit 85 which would have been what Kata yeah right 85 and Kata and I was excited but the sad part is I played completely alone from the time I played to the time I went to Argent Dawn, I had no friends. Nobody would ever talk to me. I literally played by myself, quietly questing. That's how I played. Oh wow, my gosh. the tides have turned. I, 
Wow, now you don't shut up, and <laughs> that gets you out of our group. When everybody asks why Belle runs around recruiting for the Riders of Rohan on Argent Dawn and why I have a mass of friends, it's because I was so lonely oh, that now I want to make sure I never run out of friends. She has so many friends, the listeners who are listening. She has, wow, so many friends. It is insane. It's just... Yeah, it's opposite. That's why she plays friends. a warlock, because she has a companion to hang out with her the whole time. <laughs> Literally, my Kilton, which is the name of my of my uh, Voidwalker, was my only friend for two years. <laughs> That's it. Like, hello, Voidwalker, and he like. Arr. And I had so many new moments when you could find the queue for dungeons. I stepped into my first dungeon, didn't I did not dismiss my demon, and he aggroed everything, and everybody kept screaming at me to turn off my taunt. I didn't know what they meant. <laughs> I thought turning off my taunt meant putting my pet in passive. Little did I know that my Voidwalker, their passive ability is taunt. You can't turn it off. <laughs> so my my demon would pull the entire room and we would wipe and I would get kicked out of dungeon after dungeon. I did not dungeon again until a long time after I hit 90. And then finally I'm like, okay, I'm going to start getting my stuff together. And even my brother now, whenever me and my brother queue for heroic dungeons, I always leave my pet out to make him mad because he's a tank. <laughs> <laughs> Just to do it now. <laughs> and he screams at me in the instance chat and everybody's like, wow, you two are hardcore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Her so whole that's family's my, hardcore. That's, we are weird. That's my new... Uh, I was very lonely and now I have lots of friends except for Fryza. Me and Fryza aren't friends. Oh, I'm, no, I don't know who she is anymore. <laughs> so you're talking about wow. weapon skills. Yeah, that's you had to... You And every time you switch weapons, you yeah. had to... You had to redo all that over again, that expertise in, now, in that weapon. Now, here's what's crazy. So I was a warrior, and at the time, they, they told me you have to get your all your weapon skills up. And when you get all your weapon skills up, it increases your total crit chance. And it was. So I ended up having to get an axe, and I sit there and hit it like a, a – I was hitting dummies or whatever they were, like animals, oh, like a I'm rabbit sure walked by. Right? And, you yeah, you get your polar rim, your axe, your two-handed weapon. And finally, you get all of them, and it would boost your things. Well, then, if you wanted more of a boost – you have to get your fist up to 400. So yeah. I would sit there and start punching things with my fist, trying to get my fist skills up. And then once that was up, my crit went higher after that. I remember fist that now. Skills? I remember that now, yeah. yeah that what was... is fist skills? Yeah, you had fist skills back then. What? Yeah. You might not want to know the answer to that question. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> oh my God. One, of, one of the weapon types is fist weapons. Yeah, fist weapons. You have to, level you have to get your skill up got to that? Level. A warrior can use every single weapon type. Yep. So, so, so he would have to level his fist weapons, his daggers, his axes, his maces, his one hand maces, two hand maces, one hand oh axes, two hand axes, one hand swords, two yep. hand swords, pole arm. Now, if don't, if, if don't he upgraded, that. if he upgraded from one mace to another, he wouldn't have to relevel his expertise in that. It's no, just whenever no, 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 he switched no. a different total weapon type that wow. he would have. To and if you had them all, it increased your crit chance. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. That was that's a, see that is way back, way back, way back. So I, I, poked, I poked stuff with a stick for two years. That's my back in my day. Oh my awesome. gosh! I never knew that. That's awesome. All right, and uh, let's get to mass. Hey. Oh. I uh. No, yes. Uh, I'm uh, not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. You have to. You have to. I did have it. To. You're doing it. Do it. Back in my day. <laughs> I remember the times when the trade chat would never shut up and um, when it literally meant if you had two maxed out characters, you legitly had no life. And I was – I remember back when hunters had to have ammo and when you had to go to main cities to learn weapons and you had to freaking go level up every time you – got a level you had to go purchase your new you know your skills i remember that bullshit okay it was fun it was creative you felt energetic and you wanted to go in and play oh it's awesome i can't go i'm gonna keep ranting about that but my embarrassing story was is it was like my second raid i think i ever did or it was an instance i can't remember i think it was molten core right and as a hunter i'm shooting hitting arrows and i ran out of arrows (laughs) <laughs> we're legitly at the last boss and I said hey you know I don't got any arrows I can't do anything and they're like we're just gonna kick you and get somebody else oh. and I was like no no you can't he's like 
okay, we will try it once and that is it. All right. And I was – that's back in the day when like the hunters could use knives and crap, right? I somehow pulled I, – I was like the fifth DPS out of – I think it was – I can't remember how many people it was. But it wasn't half bad for being a hunter had no arrows. We wiped. But I got kicked afterwards. Um, I hated that because you could only get so many arrows. And then if you had no money and you couldn't purchase arrows, you couldn't do anything. Oh, wow. It was just a nightmare for hunters or, or, or uh, anything that had to use yeah, ammo. I, I believe that was just hunters. Can I add on in there? Uh, when I was a warrior in PvP, uh, if you couldn't catch somebody, you throw knives at them. Oh, yeah. Remember that? You throw knives at them, and I used to go against PvP people, and they'd be throwing knives at me, and I'd turn around, and it's a warrior throwing a knife at me, and I'm like, what the heck are you doing? And that's what they did, and they kill me while they did it, and I was like, are you flipping kidding me? Yeah, I used to hate that. Yeah. Oh my they gosh. had bow and arrows. I, I had a gun, so the second you got away from me, I, I pull out my gun and start shooting you. It was, uh... Wow. It, it was fun. It was challenging back then. Nowadays, it's just kind of... Free wins. You get everything you need. Yeah. And another, wow. another, another. Well, I'm, I'm about story. that life, though. Just so you know, I'm about that life. <laughs> like to be given. Uh, it's a free mount. Another wow. embarrassing story that I used to do is uh, on Mass Medic. My main, uh, that was my main back in the day, was him, and I just used to heal like crazy and stuff like that. And I ran into the problem where the PV gear, PVP gear versus um you know your pve gear and i was raiding and i can't remember what was it it was nax or something it it was it was an old raid and i'm sitting there and i'm fighting right and i had my pvp gear on and one of the <laughs> one of the tanks called me out right and we spent two or three hours just getting this group together they're like kick the heels and you get kicked kick the heels is get PvP. yeah it, it's just and you didn't know anything else it was oh god, it was horrible. Yeah, uh, yeah. I gotta I don't talk about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, <clears throat> back in my day, <laughs> which was Firelands, not that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I, you're a young yeah. whippersnapper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not as old as you guys. You want to tell the uh, story about about your main tune and me, how I leveled it up. You want to tell about that first? Oh, I leveled the priest, oh. and then is that the one you're talking yeah, about? And then you quit. And then I I I didn't like it because I said I told him I said this is a this is a game where you you quest you just base I told this is what I said I said why do I play a game where I just go to somebody with a question mark and they tell me go do this, and I do it, and I go back, and they say, thanks, and then somebody else says, oh, do something for me, too. I'm just the freaking errand boy. <laughs> this isn't a game. <laughs> this is stupidity. I told them, this is, who does this? Why? Why am I errand boy for two hours? I'd rather <laughs> do something. From that point. <laughs> I didn't. He's like, oh, okay, don't quit. Let me level for you. So he leveled up. I think I missed the whole northern I didn't even go to Northern. End. <laughs> and and then I was I was out of Northern End and we were in the Cataclysm and I was like what what level was I then? Like maybe seventy five or something. I was still leveling you I was still leveling you, you up. But I little by little, because then what would happen is then I would say, Okay, I'm gonna get on tonight and you're like, Are You sure? And I'm like, Yeah, I'll get on tonight. So I got on. I didn't know where I was and he had all these quests for me to do. I didn't know where. This is before. I think this is a little bit before Quest Finder was actually really yeah, it in the still game. Still wasn't really out yet, yeah. Uh, or Quest Helper, and so I was walking around trying to find things. I to get distracted. I would pick up a bunch of stuff, fill up my bags, and then I'd be like, "This is dumb," and I'd leave the game. And then he'd get on and clear out my bags and continue the quest thing again. It was a nightmare to get me to 85. So I finally get to 85, and I'm like, "Okay, now I'm official. I can do." the rest of the stuff everybody else is supposed to be doing. So I loved PvP, and uh, I wanted to go to Ragnaros. I tried so hard to get to Ragnaros, and I just didn't have the gear. 
I didn't even know that I didn't have the gear. I just didn't have the gear. Nobody would let me. So I never got to see Ragnaros. I totally missed it. Yeah, but can... And then, oh, right after that, the next patch was, I think, four point something. I can't remember. 4.6, or I, I remember they implemented looking for raid. And I remember looking at that saying, okay, cool. See, that's what I'm talking about. So I go on there, and I'm like, sure, I want to be in there. And I was hooked. After, once I was able to see end game content, you hooked me. Yeah. But the whole questing, I've hated since day one. I still hate it. Oh, the yeah. only thing, yeah, I, I, I can't stand it. And my noob moment was when I was in, do you guys remember that dungeon in Cataclysm where uh, it was like a bunch of wind people and they were like, they were like uh, full of wind and there was a big dragon that had wind and he would use wind. It was like up in the clouds or something. Yeah, yeah, and you cast all the little tornadoes everywhere. Yes, yes. Okay, I was in that dungeon and I'm healing. I'm trying my best. I'm freaking out. And this guy comes up to me and he's like, why, why aren't you in a stance? You're supposed to be in a stance. I told him, what's a stance? He goes, your chakra. You need to pick a chakra. And I have it on my thing. I just put it on my bar, but I didn't know what it did. I, and he goes, yeah, click on that button. And then there's three things that pop up and pick one of them. And so then I picked one and I was like, oh, I'm in a stance. And my healing, <laughs> my healing took off yes. from there. Yes. Okay. And that is awesome. I just want to say to all the listeners out there, there are still noobs in this game. And if you ever get a chance to see somebody doing something really dumb, just ask them, what are you doing? Because the chances are, they might say, I don't know. Yes, I agree. I'm lost. Please help me. They're just scared to ask. Or you running so fast, they can't click on you and ask. They don't know how to click on you, whisper you, talk to you. They don't have a clue. So walk up to somebody and just say, what's up? What are you doing? You look like you're kind of lost. Or, hey, why are you wearing that gear? Do you need better gear? And they're like, what's gear? And you can <laughs> change their whole world. So True. that's my message. And, uh, yeah, that's back in my day, which was not too long ago. You could, so. you could also ask them the same question. Say, you can either quit this game and never learn about it and get a life, or you can, you can learn this game and then that's the end of it. <laughs> that's the wrong way to approach it. I'm giving it. you a chance. People will think that it's, you know... Take that as an insult. Oh, no, I've been playing this game my whole life. I don't care. It's, it's my hobby. You can, you can take the blue pill, yeah. <laughs> which will delete your, delete your uh, account, or you can take the red pill, and you can go on a wowhead and learn your tune. And, <laughs> <laughs> and become an a epic creature, yeah. Right, right. Well, what, what, about that, what about the one time where you couldn't find that quest giver in uh, Deep Home? Remember that? Yes, that was an exciting time for us because I was a, I'm a I'm a lore master. People who are listening, I'm a lore master in every expansion. Whatever, stop plugging, Shane. But <laughs> but I, I, do <laughs> That's something I do all the achievements. I do everything well. My my brother had this one quest left in all Cataclysm one, and he couldn't find the giver. Uh, the 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 quest giver. I think he just needed to turn it in, right? I couldn't turn in the quest. Turn it in, and I told him, I go, who's the quest giver? He goes, this guy. And I go, I bet you I know who it is. I go, so I go over there. He's not there. So I go, what the heck's happening? I can't find this quest giver. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, a month goes by, and we're still talking about it. We went to forums. We actually went to forums. We went on the internet. We found the, the guy's name. We went to the spot where he's at. He's not there. So we're like, what are we going to do? We need to get Lore Master be, before, uh, before Mop comes out. So we're like, okay, well, what are we going to do? So I go, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stand right next to him. And he's not there, but I'm going to stand right there, and I'm going to watch TV. I stood there for over an hour, and he finally spawned the quest giver, and uh, I was able to turn it in, and that was one of our moments where I called him up. I don't know what, it was like three in the morning, I was like, Benjamin, I just turned it in, I just <laughs> turned it in, it just happened, you are lore master of Kata, you know? So, <laughs> yep. yep, I remember that. So that was so it's like, a, like a spawning NPC? Yeah, I don't know. What uh, didn't... No, it just it it was actually it was the uh, if I remember correctly. Do you remember the big airship that was in Deep Home that was Alliance? Yep. And there was a dwarf hunter up there. She was up there, and uh, she 
there was this quest chain where she grabs this guy and she holds him above one of the fans that's helping the the airship stay aboard and she's like trying to get him for information about some twilight community or whatever that's inside there and uh, he finally talks he's like i'll talk i'll talk and that was the one yep. so and then it, i'm pretty sure somebody remembers that <laughs> i do <laughs> the was glitched out we glitched out that was pretty exciting though yep so that's a little bit about us uh i think we're ready to wrap it up here guys you guys want to talk about the contest real quick before we go we're 79 likes away Come on, guys. 79. 79 likes. Let's share our page. You know what? I'm going to share it on uh, Warcraft. Uh, I, I joined a new uh, group. It's called Warcraft Complaints. And so it's a Facebook group where you can go and complain about Warcraft. So I'm going to share it on there. And hopefully we'll get some more likes. That'll be great. So, That'll be great. Yeah. What's the prize? A mount or a pet from Blizzard. Any mount you want, you bet you want. You get to choose one or the other. We're buying, baby. And you are entered into this by liking? They have to like the page, and they have to share the pinned post that's up at the top, which is the contest itself. They have to share it. They can either share it in their WoW groups, they can share it on their own, but it has to be shared, and then they have to like the page. And what will happen is we'll go through all the shares because it, it are insights tell us who shared that post and we'll make sure that they still like the page and then a, a random winner will be selected random so hopefully one uh hopefully we'll have a winner by next week yes awesome yes oh, i hope so i hope so well we are going over our time is there anything you guys wanted to add it or add it added? Mm. I hate Fryza. I mean, <laughs> everybody <laughs> is now officially playing a druid. <laughs> yeah, I Everybody's well. going druid. It is true. Uh, I think I think it was uh, Mass says if he beats me tonight, he will post it on Pwncast or something. So keep eyes open for that. Awesome. And uh, do we have a segment uh, of? Uh, Moneybags the Goblin? Does he have anything to say? No. No, wait. Wrong voice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know what? It's my gear. I'm so lost. Right? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, you do. You know, you, got the- you know what grinds my gears? There we go. This guy, he plays Horde side, then he plays Alliance side, and he still won't let me play in his group. <laughs> 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 who is this guy? I don't know who he is. I'm like a jerk. Right, Fryze is a screen nobody. Oh, you don't know who Fryze is? Facebook.com slash Fryze and Leech. He's right. He's right. I am. <laughs> Come on, let it be your group, Fryza. I'm sorry, it is. It will happen tonight. And last week we talked about uh, listeners sending in a really cool guild recruiting message, something really creative. I found two, so I would like to share them with you guys. They're really quick. Are you guys ready? So we'll use uh, we'll use Honey Badgers as the name, okay? Because it's not. You guys there? Yeah, I'm here. Honey Badgers is recruiting, but not you. Yes, we're looking for the worst of the best of the worst. <laughs> we're we're ne- neither a fun nor a raiding guild, and we're seeking more members that aren't you or anyone affiliated with you. <laughs> That's awesome. I would join it so bad. That's awesome. I would join it too. And here's another one. Uh, that's great. You are walking through the forest and decide to stomp on a nearby critter. You miss, and the little jerk runs up your leg, into your armor, and begins to gnaw on your soft bits. Do you A, calmly remove your armor and release the thing, or B, get a hammer and ring yourself like a bell till the thing dies? If you choose B, Adventure Incorporation, <laughs> A, be the place for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awesome guild one. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Um, I is that a real Said the name of the guild. The game? Uh, yeah. yeah, those are. Uh, I found those on the forums. So, those are two that jumped out at me that I really liked that were really weird. So, second chance, listeners, if you see any really cool guild recruiting messages, send them in. We'll shout them out. 
So that is it for us here at Pwncast. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Um, you guys can find Fryza at Fryza the Mage or on Facebook at Fryza the Mage 2. You're on both of those, Twitter and Facebook? Yeah, Twitter and Facebook. And you can find Spam at I Eat Spam Burgers. You can find Mass by messaging him at our Pwncast page. And uh, you can find me, Eli, at Eli of the Priest. And you can find Bell at Samantha Is It on Facebook. Check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Pwncast. Uh, or Twitter at Pwncast with an S uh, because Pwncast was taken. If you guys have any questions for us, please leave them on our Facebook page for now because we have a website coming soon Ooh. from all of us here at Pwncast. We say goodnight. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Page always says Mike sounds like Paul Walker and asks me repeatedly if it's Paul Walker. Hey, Paul Who the dead. fuck is Paul Walker? <laughs> I do not know if Paul hey, Walker What's a Paul Walker? Isn't he dead? <laughs> I oh, not need to Paul Walker. Walker. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, yeah, heck yeah, I got abs like that too. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a I got a back of a neck like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never a heard that. That's pretty good. Neck? Oh my gosh. My voice. <laughs> What is the back of the neck? I can't stand it. It's the only oh, part of Ray that looks like Paul Walker because Paul no. Walker's tall, white, and not. No, Ray has Ray has a Ray. hot dog. Yep, I'm pretty hot. <laughs> According to the Mexican community, I'm like a solid seven. Solid <laughs> <laughs> oh seven? That's a compliment, I think. I want to know where this community is. And <laughs> this, how I, I can contact you? It's his mom. <laughs> You're yeah. beautiful. Honey. She represents. You're beautiful. Mexican community. She's hey, beautiful. She says he's a solid seven. You're kind of like a representative. People, people, come on, let's start this shit. Oh, yeah.